Hello, my main is this is the Mass Crusader here, and we are working on Fight the Infection again. This is episode two, and we're not actually going to do any programming this episode, but I wanted to talk about planning. Planning is like a huge part of your programming. So I've, I've created this Trello board. There's a link in the description below so that you guys can participate in the build for this. Um, we're going to use Agile for this, and what Agile talks about, uh, the methodology is you plan out features. These are called user stories. Um, they're all in the planning stage because we're planning them. Um, when we're developing them, they're going to go into the sprint stage. So wh whatever is in the current sprint, once we're done developing uh, the uh, features, they're going to go over here to completed. And then when we're ready for a release, we'll take all the cards that are in the completed stage and we're going to move them into version one. Um, we're going to use Git and GitHub for this. So uh, there's also a link below uh, for the GitHub project. If you want to download it, um, you can uh, download each, after each episode we'll make sure that there's a, a good check-in for this uh, haven't really done anything with it yet I've, I've been working on building it out but um, we're actually gonna build a lot of it together so uh, these are the these are the different parts of fight the infection that we want to do uh, by the way Trello is free uh, just go to Trello uh, create an account either with them or use your Google Google account and then you'll be able to create a board um, like this and be able to plan your project. So uh, over here, you can add another list if you want, but we're not going to worry about that. I think the four lists that we have are perfect for Agile. So each of these cards is called a user story. They're, they're broken down. Um, sometimes they're big, sometimes they're small, but they're all going to be a part of the program. So uh, yeah, we're going to go over Agile too. If you've ever heard of Agile programming, that's great. Uh, but you can participate, uh, or you can skip and go to the next one where we actually start programming. Um, so these are the, these are the parts of things of fight the infection, the main items. Uh, first of all, the whole purpose of the the infection is that zombies can infect you. So that's the first thing we're going to build. Let's go ahead and move that over to the current sprint. Um, the second thing is uh, all these really go with uh, the the thing. Um, let's go talk about new crafting recipes first. So, uh, the rules for the game are um, time X and minutes will be set in the config file. So, we're going to configure um, each of the number of minutes as listed here. So, uh, each of these projects, there's a bunch of different things we're going to build. Uh, Delta, Epsilon, Omega, and Ultimate Cures will remove the infection completely. Um, eating or drink, drinking one of those. Uh, of anything else will take you down to a minimum of one, so you'll stay infected. And we'll talk about the infection items down here below. Um, after the immunity time is expired, you can be infected. There is an immunity for each of these, and we'll talk about that in just a minute. Um, the immunity continues to expire while the server runs, regardless of if you're logged in or not. So what's going to happen is as the server is running, it's not going to stop uh, countdown if you're logged off. If you're logged off, you're going to still continue to die uh, the infection will progress y percentage every z minutes the y and z values will be set in the config so for example uh, if you set it uh, that it will decrease one percent every 10 minutes that means it'll take what a thousand minutes for you to die of infection and that's what 15 hours almost 20 hours um so yeah uh, and then the first version, um, we're not going to persist the, uh, the infection to the disk. We'll talk about persisting, persisting data to the disk in a future episode. So here are the new things that we're going to add. We're going to add cooked flesh. If you, um, when you're going to be able to cook raw zombie flesh into cooked flesh. And if you eat a piece of cooked flesh, it will cure you 1%. So if you're at, stuck at 50%, you'll have to eat 49 pieces of cooked flesh in order to uh, to be able to eat. So, uh, Cure Potion. It's an actual potion. It's going to be, a th you're going to take one thick potion and eight pieces of cooked flesh, take it to a crafting table. We can't uh, craft through a, or we can't make potions through a potion stand yet. They haven't enabled that in the bucket API, but they probably will. So for this, uh, all of these are going to be crafted on the crafting bench. So eight cooked flesh plus one thick potion will create a cure potion. 
That Cure Potion will cure you 5% each time you drink one. Uh, cure Potion 2 is a Cure Potion plus Redstone Dust, Glowstone Dust, Sugar, and Creeper Powder. I'll have uh, pictures of each of these available on uh, probably the wiki. I'll create a wiki or something for this. Uh, so that'll Cure Potion 2 will cure 8%. Uh, you'll be able to mix a. You'll be able to create an apple with some with some cooked flesh and stuff. That'll cre that'll cure eight percent. These two cost about the same to make, so I figure they'll cure about the same. Uh, cure apple and alpha cure. Cure apple will cure twenty percent. Take a cure apple and some dust, glowstone, redstone dust, and glowstone dust. Uh, there's a beta cure, which is the cure apple. This guy with a cure potion and two cooked flesh. One of each of these things cures forty. Excuse me, forty percent. Um, Delta Cure. Uh, do we say Delta? Yeah, Delta Cure will completely cure you. So you take an Alpha or Beta Cure, you mix it with a Dragon Egg, and a Cure Potion, and you'll get a hundred percent of cure plus immunity for X minutes. Notice we said earlier that the X minutes will be set in the, the config file. So if you set the value of X to five minutes with the Delta Cure, you will be immune to zombie damage for five minutes. Um, Epsilon Cure is a Delta Cure. You take this one and you add some stuff to it. We're going to say four glowstone blocks, four redstone blocks. You'll get a 100% cure, so if you're damaged, and you'll get immunity for double, two times X. So if you set X to five, you'll get immunity for 10 minutes. The Omega Cure, you take the Epsilon Cure, you add four dragon eggs and four sugar. Uh, you'll get 100% cured, and you'll, you will be immune for 10 times the number value of X. So if we set X to five minutes, you'll be cured for 50 minutes. Um, the ultimate cure is awesome. You take a cure apple, which is this guy. You mix it with essence of zombie, which we'll talk about in a minute, a cure potion, three cooked flesh and three sugar because it has to taste good, and that'll cure you 100% and it'll give you immunity for 100 times X. So 500 minutes if you set X to five minutes. Now there's two other things that we're going to create, an antibody one and an antibody two. Those are just created with uh, some uh, sugar, some rotten flesh and everything. It's not going to cure you any, but it'll stop the infection from progressing for a certain amount of time. So if we set it to five minutes, this will stop the, pro the, the infection from progressing for one minute and 15 seconds. Uh, antibody two is half the time, so two and a half, two and a half minutes uh, based on this one. And we're just going to add these to the game. It's going to be simple. So those are some new items. Now, we talked about some other things. We talked about Essence of Zombie. We're going to add that to the game. Essence of Zombie is going to be a potion that is dropped by giants when you fight them. You'll have a 50% chance of getting one of those from a uh, giant. And they're pretty cool. Um, dragon Egg, because there were some recipes that called for dragon eggs, and typically you only get one dragon egg per game. We're going to add a crafting recipe for dragon eggs. So one dragon egg plus two obsidian plus three eyes of ender and three chicken eggs will give you three dragon eggs. So you'll put one dragon egg in, you'll get two extra out plus the one. Yeah, so that's good. Uh, there's an item that I'm going to add called the infection bow, which is going to be cool. Yeah, you craft it with uh, a regular bow and two essence of zombies, which means you're going to have to kill two giants at least. Um, that will have a 50% chance of infecting other players who are shot by the wielder. Now, if they're in the immunity stage, then it's not going to affect them at all, and you're just wasting your arrows. Um, now, if you want to, instead of crafting dragon eggs by uh, getting uh, obsidian and ender eyes, you can also uh, spawn a new dragon. And that's going to take an obelisk. An obelisk is just a cube of obsidian, so nine obsidian will create an obelisk. And a dragon obelisk is uh, an... Uh, regular uh, obelisk, this thing, nine obsidian and eight ender eyes surrounding it. And those are going to be two new items. If you place the dragon obelisk, I didn't put that in there. If you pla place the dragon obelisk in the end and light it on fire, you'll summon a new dragon. And you can, unfortunately, in the first stage of this, you can have as many dragons as you want flying around the end. So it probably means you should, you should fight one dragon at a time. But we're going to add those items. All right, so... I know I'm going through this pretty quick, but I want this video to be at most 15 minutes. So I've got a few more cards to go through and five minutes to do it in. So we're going to go quickly. Um, like I said, the link to the Trello board is below. You'll be able to see me work through this as we build this project. Um, so infection worsens, status effects. 
So as the as the infection worsens, we're going to have a clock that's going to run. If you're infected, every X minutes, and that's a, a different X, every so many minutes, as we said in the config file, you'll advance a certain percentage. And during that, every now and again, you'll start bleeding, so you'll lose hearts. You'll start puking, so you'll lose food uh, uh, things. You'll get vertigo, which means the screen will go wavy. Um, you'll get blindness, and you'll get fatigue, which is slowness. These are all status effects that you can apply to a player. I'm going to show you how to do that in the bucket API. So if you want to add a uh, wavy, wavy screen to a player, uh, I'll show you how to do that. So those are the status effects. We're going to add giants. Giants are already in the game, but they don't spawn naturally. We're going to add a spawning algorithm. Well, not a spawning algorithm. We're going to add a recipe to spawn giants in. So we have to enable the giants in our world. Very easy to do. Whoops. Oh, very easy to do. I'll tell you how to do that. But then that we're going to add some buildables. So the giant is going to be five hardened clay in a T-shape plus a zombie head. Um, it's just the same with an, with clay blocks instead of iron, like for a uh, iron golem, a little bit taller. I'll show you how to uh, check for the correct um, the correct recipe and then spawn a giant in the way you're supposed to. Um, it's pretty easy to do, uh, but I'll show you how to do it. We're going to add an end beacon. You know those beacons in the end that cure the dragon? Well, if you put one of those in the overworld, which is going to be that dragon oblesk, plus the wither beacon, so you're going to have to fight a wither. If you create one of those in the overworld, anybody within 64 blocks of that beacon will be, uh, will, their infection will not progress. And that's pretty easy to do because this, the end beacon is an entity in Minecraft. So it's pretty easy to, to judge if somebody's within 64 blocks of one of those. I'll show you how to do that. All right, and the summon dragon. It's a dragon oblesque plus a dragon egg on top because um, we're going to create dragon eggs. The combo will disappear after 30 seconds and a new dragon will be summoned at the location in three minutes. It will only happen in the end. So we're going to, I'll show you how to do all those. And then finally a config file. Uh, there's that. One last thing before we finish this video because it's almost 15 minutes. But uh, the final thing is this plugin is going to use my TMC lib. There's some, uh, there's some, uh, Utilities I've already built for um, for my bucket plugins that you'll be able to download. It's a library, uh, and I'll show you how to package the library in with your jar when you run, and I'll show you how everything works in that library because it's very good, and we're going to use a lot of the, the parts of it. So uh, I know this video has been quick. I, I've been talking fast, but I wanted to get through the Trello um, as fast as I could. And then we'll start programming this next episode. Next episode will not take quite as long to get here. So the first things we're going to do is we're going to add the ability that zombies will infect you. And I think we're going to add the new crafting recipes. Um, we won't add any of this other stuff. That, so these two parts will be the next video. They're pretty easy to do. Um, and it should be 15 or 20 minutes or so. And then we'll be done. And then we'll uh, set it up and we'll be able to go. So uh, you don't have to actually build this plugin, but this plugin is going to uh, be the, the delivery method on how to learn how to program um, bucket plugins because we're going to pretty much touch everything that you can possibly do with the bucket API through this plugin. It's going to be awesome. And if you want to download this plugin and run it on your server, go ahead. It doesn't require, it's going to be compatible with all other plugins. And uh, it's going to add an element of fun to the game. It's going to make it harder for somebody to live on your server. So uh, this is the Mass Crusader. Thanks for hanging out on this very quick video. Um, and go ahead and click subscribe if you want to hang out and see which more of this stuff is we're going to be doing. And uh, we'll see you next episode when we start building out the game. So it's Mass Crusader signing off. Cheers.